cold all day. So we're just going to warm it up and give you the idea of how this is going to work with our stretches. We're going to start off literally with just these stretches of, let's say, our, our shoulder stretch. And we're going to go three plates. So one, two, and then hold for three. Hold your right arm for three. So just keep taking the count of three and holding every third one. And that's going to always make you hold the opposite. That's going to go for all these exercises all day. So it's one, two, and then three, and hold the other side. So it's going to be a three count and a hold all day. And that three count is going to make you switch to the other side. Fling it. And while you're doing this, is get the feet low. We're just getting warmed up. One, two, three, hold right. Little bounce with your step. Just moving around, blowing. One, two, three, and hold left. And when you're doing the hold, it's going to be about a three second hold. That's going to go all day today. All you need to do is be able to count to three today. You can count to three for this workout. One, two, three, and hold right. One more time on the left. One, two, three, and hold the left. Three seconds for three, two, one. So same game with the quads. We're going to go three quick quad stretches. So one, two, and hold the three. And hold that for three seconds. That, this is the third one. Hold that a little longer. And it's one, two, and three is going to now hold the left. Don't forget this. This is my left. This is my right. If you're looking at it from a different angle. So you're going to hold that for three seconds. Then a one, a two. See, those are just real quick. Tempo on the one, two, three, then hold for three, two, one. Go back to switching. One, two, three, and hold your left. And just use that opposite arm. So why me that? Believe me, that one arm is that your right or your left? That's that you hold up. That's where I'm left. Right or your left arm? Left. Okay. Let's go back to that one, two, three. So all these rounds is going to be three exercises per round. Only one of them has upper body, so we'll give you some alternates to use for those upper body exercises. Other than that, you're going to be ready to be good. Two and three and hold for three, two, one. So get used to that pace all day. It's going to be three reps quickly for, for tempo, and then three second hold. One, two, three, hold. One, two, for every single exercise you do all day. So let's keep that same game going with just a knee hug. Same thing. So one, two, three, and hold for three, two, one. Then one, two, three, and hold. So you're basically getting reps that are like a half a second each for those three. Don't even think one second each of those. Maybe one second maximum on those one second reps for the pulses. One, two, three, but then hold for a full three, two, and one. Keep it rolling. One, two, three, hold for three. Two, one, and one, two, three, hold for three, two, one. One more time. One. Still pull it up there on those one second reps. And hold for three, two, and one. Let's get some shoulder circles just to loosen up the arms a little bit. It's going to be the same thing. We're going to go three forward shoulder circles. So three big forward shoulder circles. One, two, three. We're going to hold for three, two, one. One, then come backwards. One, two, three, and hold for three, two, one. Forward for three, hold for three. Now, this is obviously very easy. We're just getting you into that three second tempo with the three second hold. And also, just getting all your joints loosened up and warmed up. Getting those shoulders loosened up. The first exercise of each round will be on your, with an upper body help. Use the upper body for the next two. One will be standing, the other will be laying on your back. So you'll be on your arms, standing, and then flat on your back. Three, and hold. You can just hold for three seconds. You'll start feeling your shoulders. That's what you want. We want you to start tightening up, starting to get ready, starting your way to work. That's what you want. All right, let's go into a shuffle. So it's going to be real simple. Just think, one, two, three, and you're going to hold with the one leg in the air. Jump across and hold. Now, this three-second hold doesn't have to be exactly three seconds. We're all going to be on a little bit of pace. So it's not going to stay exactly the pace of feet. So you're going to shuffle across three and hold just for a second or two on some of these. It doesn't have to be a full, full three-second hold every time. But make it somewhere around there. Don't make it where you're just falling out of position. So something like this, we're just going to hold a little less because we're just warming up. Hold it for a second and a half, two seconds, three steps, 
Jump it across, get that inside leg up. Just standing on that outside leg. Just getting rolling. Just getting the blood flowing. Glide across the floor and get that knee up. Glide across three steps. Hold for three. Three. Hold for three. Two. One. Cross. Three. And hold. A couple more times. Two more times across. Keep it rolling. Here we go. And good. Now the count on these is all very easy again. This is just get your blood flowing. Let's start with our hands straight on our side. We're going to hit a jumping jack with the same general of mine. We're not going to hold the full three seconds on this one. This is speed. So here, and you're just going to be on a one, two, three, and hold. And one, two, three. So here's going to be a pause, right? It's going to be a one second pause. So see how some of these, the hold is going to be a real quick hold, a pause, and some of them going to be a three second hold. The ones where it makes sense and it's work, we're going to make it a three second hold. Something like this, there's no really reason for us to hold, except for just to, just to pause for a second. So go three, rep, recount, and hold for like one on this one. One, two, three, pause. And one, two, three, pause. One, two, three, pause. Keep rolling. We're doing that just to get you in this tempo of the hold. That's it. Get your blood flowing while we get you in this tempo. All we're looking to do. All right, let's do some hamstring stretches. Again, you're going to do these with tempo. So you're going to be on one, two, and then three, you're going to reach and hold for three, two, one. So the one leg is straight, the forward leg is straight, the other leg is back. So I'm on two screens. If you're going to freeze on one of my screens, make it the one that says BBC Coach, so that's the one you can see my entire body. I'm on two separate screens, just like I have a good view of you. So it's just a one, two, Three, reach and hold for three, two, one. Come up, one, two, three. Reach and hold on that other leg for three, two, one. Let's do it. One, two, three, and hold for three, two, one. One more time on the other side. Let's do it on my back. Two, three, three, and hold for three, two, one. And good. So this first round that we're going to get into it is going to be push-up position. You're starting with push-up position, and it's going to be shoulder taps. You're going to follow right over me, so you don't even need to memorize anything. It's just three exercises at a time. This first one is push-up position, shoulder taps. That's all you're doing. The second one is going to be just a, a variation of a squat. So for gleaming, instead of this push-up, or sorry, instead of this shoulder tap, you're going to be rotating side to side. Just hold your arm down in front of you. You're going to be pivoting side to side. You're going to get a one, two, three, and a hold. The rest are going to be down here on the ground with feet. Push up position. Shoulder tap. Make sure you can see me if you can. So we're going to be on here. One, two, three, and we're going to hold for three, two, one. One, two, three, and hold for three, two, one. One, two, Three and hold the other side for three. Two, uh, believe me, up, upright, upright, believe me. Just turn, squeeze the core. Just squeezing the core and turn. There you go. Same thing. One, two, three, hold. Good. It's going to be all for about a minute each. We got this. Cool. It's going to be all for a minute each. And this is going to, so a minute each of a six, technically a six second rep, you're going to get at least 10 reps in here. That's all it's going to take because if you're going to watch some three, that's a second each and a three second hold, that's a six second rep. So in a minute, you should get about 10 reps in. So keep rolling on those shoulder taps. One, two, three, and you're holding the right. Three, two, one, and one, two, three. Hold in the left for three, two, one. Almost there. One, two, three. Hold right for three, two, one. Let's get one more. One, two, Three, and hold left for three, two, one. Time, and you hop on your feet. So listen, when I'm saying the hold, you might be going at a little different pace. You're three seconds. You don't have to switch when I switch. If you're kind of on a little different pace, that's fine. As long as you're doing the three and a hold. If it's not exact, it doesn't need to be. As long as you're doing a quick for three and hold for three. All right, so now squat. We're going to hit one, two, and three, and then hold at the bottom position for three, two, one. One. So on the third one, one, two. After three, we're going to 
we're going to drop and hold for three, two, one. Pump for three, real quick, and then hold the bottom position for three, two, one. Pump for three, hold for three. Just getting out of the legs moving. Three and then hold. If you're already having a hard time with those legs, if you're already burning, you are going to be in trouble. One, two, three, and hold deep. Sit back on those hips, heels. Look, when you're being guided, don't be here. Don't put your hands on your elbows. Just straight up and down. Head up, chest out. Sit back on your hips and your heels. Breathe it out. In through your nose down, out through your mouth up. Pump for three, hold the bottom for three. Three pumps should take you three seconds. Bottom hold should take you three seconds. There it is. Sit back on those hips and heels, nice and low. Get those thighs parallel to the floor. There you go, Barbara. Keep that head up, Barbara. Keep your head up when you're squatting down there. Nice, Peggy. Get it low, get it low. So keep those quads parallel to the floor. Bone back a lower, right? Lower. <laughs> One, two, three, and hold the bottom for three, two, one, time. All right, you're going to be on your back. So I told you we're going to be, be on our arms for one, on our feet for one, and on our back for one. So drop onto your back. You're going to do an alternating lower crunch. So here, I'm flat on my back, both knees bend 90 degrees, toes pointing in the air, one knee is crunched to my chest, and it's one, two, three. And hold, so this one foot is on the floor, this one knee is tucking into my stomach. I have to constantly squeeze my ab. Let's roll, begin. One, two, three, and hold. Dig in your abs on that hold for three. Two, one, one, two, three, and now hold on the left. Crunch in that side of your waist. You can bring your neck off the floor, you're gonna get a little more squeeze. If your neck starts feeling, you can either support it with your hands, or just put your head on the floor, it doesn't matter. One. Two, three, hold, dig, dig. When you're holding that up there, I need you to constantly squeeze that core. Press your lower back into the floor. In your head, that knee that's crunching up, squeeze that side of your waist. Squeeze that side of your abs. Pump for three, hold for three. Let's do it. We got 20 seconds. 20 seconds. One, two, three. Pump for three, hold for three. One, two, three. Hold for three, two, one, one, two, three. Dig, 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 strong core. Boom, 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 and hold tight, strong, squeeze. Bam, 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 dig it, dig it, dig it. And time, come up. Just get warmed up, just get the blood flowing. Just remember, on these reps, just because you're doing a, a little bit of a tempo, doesn't mean you can lose control of those poses. Doesn't mean you're flopping. But as we're talking, just keep moving, stretching. We are just getting warmed up. As we're doing the hold, like for instance, on that one where your knee was just tucked into your chest, you need to, in your head, find that connection to the muscle, consciously squeeze, like crunch in that side of your waist as hard as you can in the hold. That's what I need you to do on these holds every time. All right, this next one we're going to start. We're going to go with a push up. So we're going to go onto the floor. Peggy, or, or believe me, all you're gonna do for this, to modify it since you can't go on that arm at all, is you're gonna hit a, a squat and just push your arms up in the air, and then you're gonna, on the hold, you're gonna hold in the air with one knee up. So you're gonna do a squat and press, and your hold is gonna be one knee in the air, just to give your arm a break. Push up position, you're gonna start at the bottom position. And bottom position, I mean not laying on the floor. So your chest is hovering above the floor. Not resting on the floor. It's going to be one, two, three, and hold the bottom. One, two, and hold the bottom for three, two, one. So come for three and hold three. That bottom position, you're not laying on the floor. You're hovering an inch above the floor. If you can't do it on your feet, you're going to go press or squat and push up and then hold on one leg in the hole. So just missing on the upper body sets, you're going to be fine because the, rear, the high intensity stuff is on sets two and three. You're going to be just fine. Just keep moving on the upper body sets. You can get your body stuff. So it's starting at the bottom. It's one, two, three, and hold the bottom. Hover. That bottom 
bottom three seconds to be tough. Two, three, hold for three, two, one, bam, 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 yes, three, two, one. Give me a few more, give me a few more. I need to make sure you're hovering that bottom position like your chest is like an inch off the floor. Small guys, you're still warming up. It's just a warm up. Come on, yeah, Clara. Come on. Let's go, Becca. Let's go. Yeah, we're solid ready. This is just our, our second oh. round. Yeah, just a warm up. Over that chest above the floor. We got 15 seconds. Make sure that upper back is straight. Rebecca, I can't see your whole body, but keep that back straight. Don't let your neck curl down. Let's see your neck curl a little bit. Keep that back spine totally straight. One more set in. One more set. One, two, three. And hold for three, two, one. And time. Hop up on your feet. So we're going to do a power squat now. Instead of our usual pop, pop, and drop, it's going to be three pops, and you're going to drop for a hold of three. So it's pop, pop, three, drop low for three, two, one. Come back for a triple pop. And it's, let's go for a roll of three, two, one, begin. Pop, 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 and drop, and hold. Three, two, one. Triple pop. Three and drop. Triple pop and drop. Bouncing on your feet for three. Three big pogo hops. Drop into a full deep squat. Make sure that hold is for a full three seconds. There we go. Triple pop. Three. And bam. One, two, three. Pop. Pop, pop, and drop. No. Three, two, one. Hold this one. We're holding for a long pull of three seconds. Count your head. Zero to one. To two. To three. That's a three second. The pop pops are going to be less than three seconds because they're fast. Then just drop low. There we go. Pop, pop, pop. Drop low for three, two. One, get low, get low. Get those thighs parallel up to the floor. Rebecca, let's get those legs a little lower. Let's get those thighs flat, straight up. Well, be on your heels, not on your toes. There you go. Good. No elbows on the legs either when you're holding. Those hands straight in front of you. Triple pop, triple pop. Pop, pop, pop. Drop for three. Two, head up, chest out, so back in your hips and heels with glutes. Your quads, they're working, they're pumping, they're on fire. Three pops, a deep low drop for three. Two, one, two more. Oh, oh, oh. Drop and low, get low, get low. And yes, pop, 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 and drop for three. Head up, head up, chest out. Two, one, five. We're going to drop onto your back. Very similar to the last round, we're just going to keep progressing these. Hip raise with knee tuck. Go, let's do it. You see what it is? Once you pick out, let's start. Let's just knee tuck. One, two, three, and hold. So it's the same as last round. Except now your hips are way beneath you. You need to squeeze those glutes. Three and then hold for three. One, two, three, and hold for three. Two, one, one, two, three, and hold on the other side. Three. Two, one, pump it, one, two, three, and hold, three, tight, tighter, tighter, that knee is holding up, need that, that, those abs to constantly be squeezing, keep it tight, keep it strong, a long full three seconds out there, we're going to constantly squeeze in those three seconds, there you go, Peggy, get those hips up there, way up there, all right, just see your, your pinky toe. <laughs> Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze the entire body. There you go, believe me, nice technique. Just hold that three for a long, full three seconds. Beth's got the tempo down. She's reading about toilet paper. Squeeze it tight, tight, tight. Yes, come on, we 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Keep those hips up. Keep those hips pushed. Push through your heels. Squeeze the glutes. One, two. You can't get your hands in the air. You have to raise your hands on the floor, try to put it in the air. One, two, three, hold for three, two, squeeze, one, one more, one, two, three, three, two, and last one on the other side, one, two, three, and hold for 
three, two, one, and hop right to your feet. Just to get up, shake it out. You're gonna be back down in the push up position. Back down in the push up position. Glimmy, do you have any weight, any dumbbell around? Do you have any weights with you? Yes, I have a dumbbell. All right, so this one you're just gonna use a dumbbell, throw the press, just to get to all five working on that other side, on that side. So you just throw the press. The rest of us are gonna be on the floor, air mountain climbing. So one knee is in the air. You can see this leg is not touching the floor. So it's gonna be a one, two, three. Hold for three, two, one. Fast, look at that. Air mountain climbing is a little faster than a regular one because the front foot does not touch the floor. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's hit it. If you can't hold that position, you're gonna do a curl the press on that arm that you have that you your good arm. One, two, three, and hold for three, two, one. Same game, same tempo, but this one's a super fast one, two, three, even faster than the other ones. And that hold, make it a little longer. Beth, hold that three seconds a little more. I want you to hold that three. I want you to work for that three seconds. It's a super fast three count on the pulse and a super slow three count on the hold. So it's pop, 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 and hold for three, two, one. Pop, 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 hold on the other side. See, so each hold is getting your hold on the opposite side. Pop, 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 and hold. Pop, pop, pop. Let's do it. One, two, three, hold. Please, three, two, one. Keep pumping that, keep working, keep that back straight. Ball Cloud, don't stop, don't worry. <laughs> Hold straight and strong steps. We are just getting rolling. Just getting that blood flowing now. Just getting that body temperature. I'm starting to break that sweat. Keep working through it. So, Barbara, we're doing mountain climbers. Air mountain climbers. Air mountain climber. That one knee is in the air. Front foot is not touching the floor. One, two, three. And hold for three, two, one. Pop, pop, pop. And hold 15 seconds. Keep working through it. One, two, three. Don't Hold drop it. that front toe. A little bounce in your step. Pop, pop, pop. Last one. Hold. Tight, tight, tight. And on. Same game. Right your feet right away. High knees. So one knee is up. You need to pump these. Pop, pop, pop. And hold. Squeeze in that leg. Squeeze those abs. Go. Let's do it. High knees. Three and hold. When you hold, that leg is parallel to the floor. Squeeze in your core and your abs. I need that mind for the muscle connection. That's what we need. Pop, pop, pop. You have the most strategy for your buff. Most work per second by consciously thinking about it. And squeezing the muscles that you're working. Hold that with the thigh parallel to the floor every single time. It's just three and hold. Pop, pop, pop. Hold tight. Pop, 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 hold for three. Work on that bounce. You lose it, go all, all around it, and fight for that bounce when you need to. Pop, 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 hold. Stick, straight, strong. Pop, 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 hold. Yes, keep it pumping. Three second hold. Consciously hold it and squeeze tight. Pop, 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 and hold. Three seconds. Pop, pop, pop. Hold on the other side. So doing this three quick reps is making sure you're always alternating which side you're holding on. So we keep things balanced out, evened out. Keep the core tight. Make sure it's strong. Pop, pop, pop. Hold oh, tight. Strong. Pop, pop, pop. Dig, dig, dig. Boom, boom, boom. Tight. Squeeze. Pump it out. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Going about a minute on each of these. That's going to give us at least, really, it's only 10 reps if you think about it. You're doing the one, two, three, only the three, two, one. That's a six second rep. You know, this one, two, three is a little quicker than three seconds. That's why it's going to give us at least 10 reps. But it's really not a ton because you're holding. Let's kill some of that minute. Pop, 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 hold for three, two, one. One more side, one more side. Pump to that. Get those knees up. Nice up. Pop, pop, pop. Hold for three. Two, one, man. Five times you be getting up. You should be getting a little sweat going on. Flutter kicks, same game. On your back. Right here. Both feet in the air. One, two, three. And hold. Pop, pop, pop. And 
home. Don't forget, you need to pin one of those pages, one of those screens, pin the one where you see the entire body here. One, two, three, slurry kicks, and hold for three, two, one. If you're feeling your lower back, your lower back can't hold it for whatever reason. Just put that bottom leg on the floor when you're holding, if you have to. Try to keep both feet in the air, but if you have to put the bottom foot on the floor on the hold, just rest the bottom foot on the floor while the other leg is straight up in the air for three seconds. But attempt to get them both up there. There we go, see some good kicks. Pop, 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 hold, squeeze, tight, consciousness squeeze of that. Boom, 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 and hold, kick for three, two, one. Pop, 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 and hold. Dig, 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 dig. Boom, boom, boom. Hold it, dig it, strong. Bam, bam, bam. Tight squeeze. And keep that leg straight. Come on. Drop that other heel Three. down. Oh, Press that lower back in the floor. Keep tension on those abs the entire time. 15 seconds. One, two, three, and hold. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Huh, huh, huh. Three, two, one. One more each side. One more each side. You got this. Oh, the other side. Beth, lower, Beth, lower. Bring your neck. Last one, last hold. Three. Oh, one more, two, one more. One, and Time! Pump on your feet. Shake that out. All right, this next one's going to be the low Superman. It's going to be on your forearm. So, believe me, you're going to take your dumbbell and you're going to hit just a half of a squat, half a squat to a press in this upper body set, just to get rolling. All right, so low Superman is going to be right here. You can see me? It's going to be quick. One, two, three, and then hold that third one for three, two, one. So drop down your forearms, low Superman, so it's alternating real quick for three, and hold that third one for three. Begin, we start, we start, and you down your forearms, three, two, one, begin. Down your forearms, it was low, it's a low Superman. Let's go, get that superhero training and dip the hips every time you extend the arms and the legs, dip the hips down. I don't even want to see those costumes that are going to be out here on Friday. I'm afraid to, I'm afraid to tune in on Friday for the superhero workout. <laughs> I have a feeling there's going to be a whole lot of tight black leather and, and chains and whips and stuff. I don't, I don't know if that's the type of superheroes they were talking about. Look, <laughs> I heard some comments on your post. I don't know. <laughs> One, two, three, and hold for three. Two, one. That's the whole thing. Do it out of two arms. Hips down. You start feeling too much in your hips. Just keep your feet down and alternate just the arms you have. There's always modification to this stuff. Always modify before you stop. And you know it. Die before you quit. Good. That arm should be straight out in front of you. Straight out in front of you. Not to the side. Straight out. There you go. Oh, three on that side. One more on each side. One more on each side. Keep those hips down. Let's get it, Laura Library. Yeah, Library, load them hips. And time. Nice. Here's going to be lunge jumps. You're going to hold the third one in a split squat. So here, you're on one, two, three, and then hold for three, two, one. This one is going to suck. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. We'll thank you one day when those quads and those glutes are all tight and strong. Let's do it. Begin. Two, three, and hold with the right leg back. Head up, chest out for three, two. Now, if you can't do the jump, just step back for the lunges and then hold the third one. If you begin that low, it doesn't work. You can hit front to back jacks and then just hold a little partial reverse lunge. Always a way to make it happen. Jump if you can, though. Push yourself. If you're able to jump, get a little jump. If you can just get a little skip step, get a skip, skip step. If you can get a fast front to back jack, do that, and then just drop the last one down partially. That's what you have to do. Balance that out. One, two, three, and hold. Three, two, one. Keep pumping that out. Keep that 
head up, chest out, abs tight, shoulders back and down. Modify before you stop. You just stand there. Try to keep your hands off your knees and your thighs. Trust me, they're there. I think so. It means 90 degrees. You're getting all the way down. If you're able to do the full range, get both knees 90 degrees. There's 20 seconds. There's 20 seconds. One, two, three, three, two. Make sure you're bending the knees all the time, even when you're doing the switches, not just when you're holding it. Bend the knee every time. There we go. Nice modification, Barbara. Keep it moving. Do I mean if your knees feel good? Try to go fast paced on this one. Since we're missing, we're, we're all up doing other, other stuff with the upper body. Let's get our most bang for our buck on these lower body ones. So as quick of a pace as you can. And time. Nice. Those suck. Next, you're going to drop into a, a crab position. So. If you, so grab this will be here on your arm, your hips up in the air. If you can't hold yourself in that position, you're just going to sit here on the floor, right here, and pump your legs and hold it. It'll be up. But if you can hold yourself, you're here. You can extend one leg out, and switch one, two, three, and hold. One, two, three. So my butt's off the floor. So, blimey, one foot is going to be up, and just put your, put your hand on the you can. And just lean back and switch and hold. Make more of a core exercise. It's going to be core for everyone. Let's do it. Begin. If you're feeling good in that position, there you go, Beth. Nice skip. Clara, if you can get it as a skip step, like a little bounce switch. There we go. Yeah, like that. Little tempo. Perfect. There you go, Rebecca. That's a tempo knee right there. One, two, three, and hold. When you're squeezing that leg out there, make it a long three seconds. Squeeze that quad. You should think of that tempo like mountain climbers. Tap, tap, hold. Yes, bounce it out. I wasn't going to do this exercise. This is Tyson's idea. I don't know what the hell he's thinking. This shit is hard. Hold it up there. When you're holding, constantly squeeze that tricep when you're holding yourself up. Strong core. Bounce it out. Hold for three. Don't cheat on that three second hold. 15 seconds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bounce it out. Bounce to three. Hold for three. Keep rolling. You got this. One more inside. One more inside. Hold for three. Two. One. Last one. One. Two. Three. Hold it. Hold it. Time. Nice. Up on your feet. Shake it out. So, this next one is going to be a half squat thrust. So, for blinding, you can't use. The other arm, you're going to put your legs in the air, and you can do a single arm chest press. The rest of, the rest of you, if you can do it, is going to be a half squat thrust, meaning you're just at the bottom. You're here. You're just jumping one, two, three, and hold for three, two, one, and one, two, three, and you're holding the back position. When you're holding the forward position, you're not just here. See how my weight is sitting on my feet where I can let go? You should be here with your knees down, your hips down. Get the hold yourself up with your shoulders and your core. So it's all getting the push-up position to start. Oh, we need this Tyson's already started. You're going to die, boy. We're going in three, two. What are we doing here? What's that? Chest press. Chest press. Chest press. Big long chest press. Let's go. Dumbbell. Keep those hips down. When you're holding that plank position. Don't come off that plank position. Don't put the weight on your feet on that front position. The weight is still on your upper body when you're holding it with the knees forward. Could you demonstrate so, again? Library, it looks like you're standing on your feet. Don't stand on your feet. Put the weight on your upper body. So look, I'm down here. See, when I'm here, if I let go of my hands, I would fall down. I wasn't thinking like almost like a bear fall hold. One. So my hips are down the whole time. My knees are off the floor. This is all my upper body. Just tip your toes around the floor. Your knees bent. Think like a tabletop. You don't want to just be standing on your feet in the forward position. Keep those knees yeah. inside the shoulders. shoulders. Keep those knees inside the shoulders for that one. Rebecca, lower those hips a little. Let your knees be a fraction of the knees off the floor in that forward position. Get those hips down. Blimey, let's get a little quicker of a, a pace on that. Let's get the same one, two, three in the hole. 
Pump for three, and then hold that top position for three seconds. Pump that out, pump that out. 10 seconds. One, two, three, hold. Then one, two, three, and hold the back position. So you hold the forward position for one. And then from there, one, two, three, hold the back position for the next one. You shouldn't be holding the forward position every time. Don't cheat on that three second hold. And time. That was our half squat thrust. We're going to go with a vertical mountain climber. So it's a standing mountain climber. So your right leg is in the air, your left arm is in the air, your right elbow is right here. And you're just going to be here. Boom, boom, three, and hold. One, two, three, and hold. So the arm that's in the air, the opposite knee is in the air. This other elbow is tight to this, to this side. Two, three, and hold. Let's go in three, two, one, boom, bang it out. Hold for three seconds. One, no, two, three. Hold for three seconds. Pump it out. Work on that balance. What you gotta do. You gotta yeah, do I'm a baseball bar, but look at like it. Down well. one. Keep here with your elbow bent. You can just scoot your hands here. Don't bring that other hand all the way down to your side. It's gonna take too long for you to back up. So elbows, yeah, there we go. Barbara. Nice. Pump it. The elbows bent. Opposite. One, two, three, and hold. Oh. Opposite arm is in the air as the knee. Boom, boom, boom. So when you're holding, your knee elbow is almost touching your thigh. Three seconds. One, two, three. Pop, pop, pop. Hold for three. Hold that three seconds. A real three seconds. We're going to do faster tempos on a lot of these coming up. So we need that slow tempo right now. We're going to be repeating some of these for a much quicker, slower tempo. Coming up. Keep pumping that out. 15 seconds. Pop, pop, pop. Opposite arm, opposite legs. Put your hands in the air. The opposite knee. One, two, three. And hold. One, two, three. Hold. Pop, pop, pop. Dig it, dig it, dig it. And time. Put right onto your back. So it's going to be a bicycle crunch. Bicycle crunch, opposite elbow to opposite knee. One, two, three, and hold, twisting in. One, two, three. So your arms and your legs are not on the floor. Begin, begin. You started. One, two, three, hold that elbow to knee. Crunch that elbow to knee. Focus on that core, dig in your waist. Pop, pop, pop. Good, really, yeah, make sure you twist, twist, twist that torso, turn. Opposite elbow, opposite knee, opposite elbow, opposite knee. So believe me, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Turn, turn each time. Dig, dig, dig. Hold for three, hold for three. Your neck starts feeling it. Just put your head on the floor every once in a while, or let your hands go behind your neck, support your neck. Make sure you're not pulling on your neck. We're straining your neck. Pump, pump, pump. One, two, three, and hold. Dig it. One, two, three, hold. Squeeze for three, two, one. Two more each side. Dig, dig, dig. Pop, pop, pop. Hold, crush, squeeze. Three seconds. One more. Dig for three, two, one. Up on your feet. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Yes. Thumbs up, are we good? Thumbs up, we're good, we're ready to roll. Yes, we are cruising. A lot to get to still. So next round, we're on a high Superman. So that's a push up position again. So, so blind me, you're gonna be back on the, on the floor again. With that weight, instead of the chest press, you do a tricep, a skull press. To get your tricep, get some tricep working on that single arm, your feet on the floor, you can't bring your feet in the air. So you're right here for a tricep, skull crusher, extending your arm. The rest of us are going to be in a push-up position. Right here. Same as we did earlier for the low fan. It's one, two. Those are fast and hold for a real three. The real work here is holding that three. Don't cheat it. Let's go three, two, one. Boom. Let's do it. So fast for three. 
but don't cheat me on that three second hold. It's real quick on the first switches. There we go. Bro, believe me, when you do the dumbbell, behind your head, and then extend. Then the elbow. Extend. 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 Peggy, if you can move to your right a little bit, that's possible. Oh, you're trying to hide, Peggy. I see you, Peggy. You're trying to hide. <laughs> Smart. Trying to creep in the corner. There you go, Barbara's got the modified. Good, believe me. Also, I like it. It's always worth that can be done. Always. There you go, and then extend it. Good. And then extend One, it up. Two, Good. three. Get elbow right in place. Good. Hold for that long three seconds. The work is on that three seconds on this one. That is the real work and challenge of this set. Challenge yourself. Hold for a long three seconds. Don't rush that three seconds. Your head's too hard. Tell yourself, zero to one, to two, to three, and down. That's how you should do it. Push that to yourself in that three-second hold. This shit ain't supposed to be easy. Hold for three, two, one, hop, 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 and hold. Three, two, one, and up on your feet. Shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, we're going to be on your feet. It's going to be front kicks, fast, one, two, three, and you're going to hold that third one in the air for three seconds. It's going to be a quad burn to hold that thing up in the air. If that doesn't work for you, you're just going to do butt kickers and squeeze your hamstring instead. Or if you did too many, your quads are really tightening up. Do a few on the front kicks, two, three, let's go, begin. Just hold that leg out, there's going to suck on your quad. If you need a break from that, instead of stopping, just do butt kickers for a few. Do front kicks for as many as you, as you can. If you want an advanced version of a front kick, look up here. Pop, 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 and then hold. See, I'm jumping for those front kicks. Plyo front kick. Some Ralph Macchio shit. The crane kick. One, two, three. Yes. But listen, it's not just pumping like this. If you're doing the fast version, look where my leg is on this fast version. It's got to be up there, up there. It's like a high knee kick, a high knee kick. Come on. Got to extend that leg and then hold that squeeze out there for three seconds, that leg in the air, as straight as you can. Whoop. Hold that core. It's going to be hard to hold that leg straight out. So bend the knee as much as you need to, but squeeze that quad tight, tight, tight. Push it. Yes, pop, 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 and hold for three, two, one. Pop, 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 and hold the other side. There it is. Nice pace, Claire. There it is right there. Quads are pumping. I like it. Nice work. Nice work. There it is, Beth. Kick the camera over. You have to just go to a regular front kick, but get that leg. Bend and extend. So beside you, look at the back. Even the back side of you is bend, bend. See how those legs are getting straight out there. And then hold. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Pumping it, pumping it. And time. On your back, leg lifts. Down position. I don't care what you call the down position. I don't care what you call the up position. So but it's just going to be one, two, Three, hold the up for three, two, one. And one, two, three, hold it down for three, two, one. Legs in the air the entire time. Unless you start feeling your lower back, just put them on the floor for a second. That's fine. You do what you got to do. Make it work. Keep it safe. Protect your lower back. Dig in it, your core. So pump for three, two, three, hold high. Squeeze when you're holding for three seconds. Then one, two, Three, hold low, squeeze for three seconds. One, two, three, hold high, crunch, dig in your core. Pop, pop. Don't keep this three seconds, especially on that down one. That down hold better not be a one to three. It better be a zero to a one, to a two, to a three. That's how we count our three seconds on the hold. Pops are fast, holds are slow. 
especially that down hold. Just it's hard. Just mean you magically start counting faster. Squeeze that. Boom. 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 Hold. Three. Two. One. Pop. 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 Hold up. Three. Two. One. Go, oh, Bring those knees. Bring those legs a little lower. Bring those lower. Lower. Yes. Not that low. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ten seconds. Finish it. All back go up. Back to the floor. Consciously attach your mind to your core. Keep it tight. And time. Yes. Nice. Come up on your feet. Shake it out. So here's what's going to happen this next round. This next round, we're going to repeat, repeat three of the moments we've done already. Except it's going to be just a one-second hold. So it's going to be a faster rep. It's going to be pop, 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 hold. Pop, 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 hold. We're going to make this set a random. So who's unmuted? Rebecca, give me a number from one to six. Four. Four. All right, now give me a number one to three. One. All right, so our first one is a low Superman. You just picked exercise. We're repeating some of the ones done randomly by the number she just gave us. So if you don't like low Superman, don't blame me. Go and blame Rebecca. She shows it. So it's going to be fast. So we're down here. It's one, two, three, hold. Then one, two, three, hold. See, it's just a one second hold now instead of a three second hold. Much faster tempo we're going to hit on some of these repeats. Let's do it. We started again. Low Superman. Finally, go on your back with the weight. Uh, believe me, just go right to chest press. Okay, get that dumbbell. Really go. Quick chest press. Let's go. Let's go with a speed chest press on this one since we're going faster pace. Just pump it out real fast pace. Elbow tucked in. Just tap the elbow to the floor. Don't even worry about a hold on this one. Just pump. I want you pumping on that one. This is the fast round, so we want to get a fast pace. One, two, three. Hold. Pop, pop, pop. Hold. Pop, pop, pop. Hold. The hold is just for a second. This is for cross step. Think of it as a pause step. Sit. Sit a little lower if you can. Every time you extend the arms and the leg, that's when you drop the hips. Make your body stiff as a board, strong and tight. While you're doing this set, I think Rebecca's the only or no, believe me, is unlocked also. Believe me, a number one to six. Yell it out. Two. Two. And a number. Don't two stop. Or three. Don't worry. <laughs> what? And then a number, two or, two or three, another number, two or three. 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 We're on flutter kicks. She chose it. Let's go. So these are fast. One, two, three. Hold for a second. One, two, three. Hold the other side. It's just a pause rep. Pop, pop, pop. Hold. Pop, pop, pop. Hold. Pop, pop, pop. Hold. Tight. Squeeze. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Pump those out so it's real fast. One, two, three, and hold. Short, choppy pumps. Pulse it. Boom, and hold. This is a pause rep for a second. One, two, three. Hold. One, two, three. Hold. Yeah. Pop, pop, pop. Beth, get those legs a little lower, Beth. Get those legs a little lower when you're doing it. There you go. Rather you keep them lower than higher. Not that. Dig it, dig it. A little harder, a little harder, a little tighter squeeze. You should be a little faster. Hold out, hold out, squeeze it, pump it. And keep rolling. Rebecca, one to six. Uh, three. One to three. Three. <laughs> All right, I guess we're doing flutter creeps again. All right, one or two. Oh, one or two. Two. All right, we're on high knees. Listen, when I'm getting those numbers, from someone, someone else unpause yourself so you can give me a number on this next set. Someone else unpause yourself. So we're on high knees right now, high knees. Pop, 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 hold. One, two, three, hold. Just for a second, it's just a pop, 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 hold. Hold, make this fast. I want you to burn out here. Pop, 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 hold. One, two, three. One, two, three. Pop, pop, pop. Boom, boom, boom. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Hold it tighter. We're going for a minute. We're going for a minute. I need this fast pace. Think it's burning out, burning out. The end is semi here. 
Pop, pop, pop. Make these fast. Look how fast we need to be. But still get those thighs and those to the floor. Get those hips up. Hold. Pop, pop, pop. Hold. Dig, dig, dig. All the way out there. Pump that out. Push it, push it. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Pump it out, pump it out. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, work through it. Boom, boom, boom. Ding, ding, ding. Pop, pop, pop. Pop it. Boom, boom, boom. Pop, pop, pop. Time. Alex, the number one to six. Oh, you just moved it. Alex, one to six. Uh, let's go five. One to three. Let's go one. Half squat for us. I, I think he knew what it was. He wanted to do these because they suck. <laughs> right here. One, two, three. Hold. Pop, pop, pop. Hold. One, two, three. Hold. So you're holding the front and hold the back. Butts down. Pop, pop, pop. Hold. Dig. One, two, three. Hold. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Keep that tempo. Fight for it. Roll with the punches. Roll with that tempo. Go so quick. Fire the quick. Hold the line. Attack, 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 attack. Hold the line. Push the pace. Nice. Nice work, Barbara. Keep pumping it. Good pace. Go right back out. There you go. Out, in, out. There you go. It's three total movements, Claire. Just three total, so it's quicker. Just pop, pop, pop. You're doing six, looks like. So one, two, three, and hold. No, you're still doing six, looks like. Not three reps, three count. One, two, three, right there. Let's go, Eva. Come on, work it, Eva. One, two, three, hold. Pop, pop, pop. Hold forward. Pop, pop, pop. Hold back. So we're holding it with three count. While you're going, don't stop. I get this number. Tyson, number one to six. One. One to three. Two. And we're up. Oh, that's too easy. What a joke. He sees my whiteboard. He picks some easy shit for you. That's <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> All right, so we're. this is too easy, so we're going to make it a squat jump. It's, it was the squat we did in the beginning on the warm round, but screw that. We're not doing that shit. You're going to hit three squat jumps. <laughs> Thanks, Tyson. And hold the bottom. Three squat jumps, hold the bottom, but just for one second. So it's one, two, three, and hold for one. One, two, three, hold. Hold down there, hold down there for a full second. Don't rush it down there. A long full second on this one. Not three seconds, but not just a little hesitation. Make it a second. Aren't you glad you chose this one? Yeah. How was life feel, Tyson? Nice. Awesome. That's what I'm here. Hold. One, two, three. Pump it. Keep rolling. Keep it low. Hold. Dig, dig, dig. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Finish this off. Burn those quads out. Push it in. You got this. And time. Bleamy, one to six. What? Six. Perfect. Leg lifts. You know, we say first, we need one on our back. So we're on those leg lifts again. One, two, three. Hold for one. One, two, three. Hold the top for one. Begin. Let's go. Let's do it. Dig, dig, dig. One, two, three. Hold. Hold bottom. One, two, three. Put your head on the floor. We're going to relax. We're going to relax. We're going to relax. We're going to relax on the floor on this one. So make sure you pin your lower back to the floor. Dig it. Pump it. Hold it. Squeeze it. 20 seconds. Tight, 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 tight. So if you hold the top position, then hold the bottom position. It's just a three count. Not a five or a six count. Pop, pop, pop. Hold. Pop, pop, pop. Hold. Dig, 
Indeed. Hold it. Squeeze it. I like that. Peggy getting that side plank lift going in. I like it. And time. Give me one more. Rebecca, one more. One to six. Uh, four. One to three. Two. Ooh, what a bad one to go out on. Lunge jump. Three. <laughs> Hold. Oh, that sucks. Come on, let's go up, 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 right? <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I will not expect anything less from you, Rebecca. We're so good to Rebecca, I still love you. <laughs> one, two, three. And dig and hold for just one, two, three. And hold for that one. Tight, tight, tight. Good. Get that knee lower, Beth, every time. Switch. Knees lower every time. You need to modify it and want to still get a fast pace. You can front and back fast and then Come just on. get on the last one a little bit. Pop, pop, pop. And just a little bend so you don't crunch your knees. Here, right? Come on. Keep it going. Pump that out. Pop, pop, pop. And boom. Boom, boom, boom. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Bounce your step. 20 seconds. 20 seconds and we're done. This is it. Burn these out. Pump these out. Don't forget. You have to get you reverse lunges. Modify. The jumps aren't working anymore. There's nothing wrong with that. Listen, every one of these workouts we do, I find at least five, six times where I need to modify something or go to a different variation of it because it's just hard. Or maybe it just doesn't feel good on that day on your knee or your shoulder or whatever. That's fine. There's nothing wrong modifying it. Keep it smart. Still work hard and work smart. There's always a way to modify it. And time. Pop straight on your back. We are done. On your back. But we need to stretch. Listen, you can take this. And the workouts, the stretching, recovery series. That's how you prevent injuries. That's how you recover. That's how you get ready to kick ass. That's how you keep the flow going for your day. So left leg totally straight. Hold the right knee into your chest. That left leg should be loose. Your head is on the floor. Don't crunch your neck up. So even though you're pulling this leg back, don't struggle to crunch your shoulders up. Big deep breaths into your nose for two or three seconds. Hold it for a second and then out for two or three seconds. Nice, long, deep breath. The recovery process starts right now. You have a post-workout shake or your herbalized shake or whatever you have after the workout, right away. You should have a small, very light meal 30 minutes before this. I have a post-workout meal right after. And ease that leg out. Ease it out because we're holding that stretch for 30 seconds. Reach both arms overhead. Long stretch of reach. And just sink to the floor. Just flop into the floor. Loose. Loosen up your spine, your hips. This feel good. Just think your fingers, your wrists, your hands, your elbows, your shoulders, your neck, all flop into the floor. Your spine, your hips, your legs, your knees, your ankles, your feet, all flop. Just sunken into the floor. Big deep breath into your nose. Out through your mouth. And slowly pull the left knee into your chest. Keep the right leg straight and loose. Like take your time in these stretching. Throughout the day, if you find you're sitting around a lot more because you're in the house, take a 10 minute break. Take a five minute break. Every hour or two you're working, you're sitting around. Take a break, walk around, go outside, hit some stretches, hit some foam rolling, do some shadow boxing, keeping the blood flowing, keeping the body moving. I usually try to get up and, and get some movement every hour. Even if it's just standing on a phone call, I'll stand up and start walking up and down stairs. Or Take a break after finishing a, a task that you're working from home or whatever you're doing. And get up and move. Take a five, ten minute break. Stretch out. Get hydrated. Get out. Get some air. Just go for a walk around the house. Walk come down the street for two minutes. Take those little short breaks throughout the day. It's going to prevent you from burning out. It's going to keep your blood flowing and it's going to keep you from tightening up. Ease that leg out. Arms straight overhead. Long stretch and reach. Big deep breath. And hug both knees into your chest. Both knees into your chest, your head on the floor. Your lower back is pressed flat into the floor. Stretch it out. 
Deep, strong, smooth, steady breathing. Into your nose a couple of seconds, out of your mouth a couple of seconds. And he's out of that. He's out. Nice. Come up on your feet. Come up to the camera. Let's finish this off. So if you have any questions, if you need help with anything, you can ask them right now or just think of it later. Just message on one of these posts or just message me privately. We will take care of you. We will hook you up anytime. If you have a question, you get this Facebook messenger, text, phone call. I don't give a shit, whatever it is, send a smoke signal. Any time of day, and we'll always get back to you as soon as possible. And always right now on these lives, it's always your chance to get your questions answered every day when you're on these. If you happen to not make these, then just send a message later. Don't forget, you can still have your friends come and join you and try this out. Try to try out the new AC $21. We are going to be starting an internal members challenge coming up next week, an attendance challenge, which is going to help get you a chance to win an entire free month. It's going to be an attendance challenge. All you have to do is show up to your sessions and you get credit, and then a random winner is picked. Every, every, anyone that's hit the attendance challenge and going to wrap up, the rules will be out there coming up at the end of this week, but that's going to be starting next week. I know DJ Caesar is going to be doing a party this Friday night just to give you something to hang out. Bring your fake adult beverages. You can hang out, and, and all those details are coming out. So just keep looking on the VIP page and checking your emails. We're trying to email you and, and text you as much as possible. So I hope that's not annoying to you. If it is, just please to deal with it because we want to make sure you always have updates of the class schedule coming up, get you the links of the classes that you missed. So You'll be getting them in your e email inbox, and if you're not, make sure you let us know. It means you don't have the correct email. You should be getting an email pretty much every day telling you, here's the schedule of the classes coming up. Here's the link to the live Zoom. And in case you missed it, here's the last three classes. So you always have that deliver right to your inbox. Of course, you can always find them on the VIP page. To easily find the workouts on the VIP page, go to the VIP page on your computer and go to the videos tab. If it's from your cell phone, you go to the photos tab and all the videos and pictures are all combined. It's right there. You can just find the videos much easier than scrolling on the feed. And then there's also the peak portal, which if you haven't been on the portal, you should get on there. We're, we're going to be having you reset your password in the next week just to make it easier because we've been adding so much content. We just have to redo some of the portal. So you'll just be resetting it. So if you haven't created an account, this will be your chance to do it. All this information will be coming out. So please go just check your email. Make sure you... Add us into your address book on your email so you don't miss anything. So nothing goes to like your spam or whatever. And but you will be getting daily emails. We want to keep you in the loop, keep you motivated, keep you accountable, and hold you accountable. And make sure you keep showing up here. Please get your friends and family members come join you on here so we keep this rolling. We can start adding in some more classes. That would be freaking awesome. Anyone have any questions or need any help or anything? Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So listen, when, when when these days are going bad or whatever it is. Just tell you, like, every day, tell yourself in your head, there's no such thing as a bad day. I don't care what's going on. There's no such thing as a bad day. If you didn't see my post yesterday, if you want to know what a bad day is, go read the book, A Man's Search for Meaning. If you haven't ever read that book by Victor Frankl, go read that book, A Man's Search for Meaning. He was a, in, in, survived four different concentration camps during World War II, and it's an amazing story. And you think you're having a bad day, go read that book, you'll know what a bad day is, and you'll be appreciated. Your bad day, your bad day, you'll realize it's freaking awesome. That's what you'll realize. There's only good days and great days. It's all there is. No matter what's going on, it could always be a lot worse. So a man searched for me, if you haven't read it, and he was a, a Austrian psychiatrist. He actually survived four concentration camps and used what he learned just in his head and wrote this book in his head in those years in those concentration camps and used it to further his psychiatrist practice when he got out. And it's an amazing book. So anyone ever heard of that book or read that book? Nope. Uh, Oh. Anyone ever heard of Dr. Seuss? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Amazing. We heard of Dr. Seuss and Kanye West, but we hadn't heard of the, the people we should be hearing of. Go read, people. Read, read, read. If you need book recommendations, I can give you thousands of them. I saw someone was working out with their library behind them. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> I, I would like that if you gave us book recommendations. Yeah, we can, I'll give you a ton, especially depending on the, the topic or the direction you're looking for. I, have, I can give you hundreds. I literally try to read at least one book, I read and listen to at least one book a week, at least. All right, if you need nothing else, just send me a message later if you need anything. Tyson, anything you want to tell them? No! Hey, stop, stop! <laughs>
This kid is a freak show. Just so you know, it's 2 a.m. for us here. 2 a.m. He hears me. He's like, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to do a workout. He said, let's do it. He hopped up and came and did it. Just so you know, he's a little freak show. All right. We will see you later. Let me know if you need anything. You are freaking awesome. Have an awesome day. No Thank you. Hey, Thank Kim. You. Great day. Guys. Great blessed day. I'll see you later. Great job, Coach. Great job, Tyson. Thanks for coming on, Alex. Awesome job.